Hello and welcome to all my grade 4 learners to our first online lesson for natural science. We are going to kick off with your term 2 work on matter and materials. Let us start off by talking about matter. Matter is everything around us on the earth and in the universe. Matter makes up all the materials and substances that exist on earth. Air that you breathe is matter. Raindrops are matter. You are matter. Even the smallest grain of dust is matter. Matter exists as different substances, for example, sugar, water, paraffin, wood, air, and so on. These substances form the materials that we see around us every day. Matter is therefore something that takes up space and has weight. Even though matter can be found all over the universe, you will find it you will only find it in a few forms on Earth. These are either solids, liquids, or gases. Solids, liquids, and gases have different properties. When we talk about a property of something, we are talking about what something is like. Let us look at the properties of a solid. A solid has a definite shape. A solid will not take the shape of the container that it is put into. A solid has its own shape and it will not change shape. Example, if you put a shoe in a box, the shape of the shoe does not change, it remains the same. Other examples of solids are a frozen block of ice, wood, chair, the bed that you are lying on, the laptop or tab that you are holding. Look around you, what other solid objects can you see? What are liquids like? Let us have a look at the properties of liquids. A liquid does not, does not have its own shape. A liquid takes the shape of the container that it is in. A liquid can flow easily. Have a look at the picture of the water in the glass and the water in the bottle. The water in the glass has taken the shape of the glass and the water in the bottle has taken the shape of the bottle. Can you see the oil being poured into the bowl? This is what we mean when we, can, when we say that liquids flow easily. It can be poured into something and poured out of something. Your favorite cold drink is also an example of a liquid. Properties of gases. A gas will fill whatever space it is in. It cannot be contained. It will spread outwards and upwards. Picture a pot of pot water boiling on the stove. Can you see the steam rising out of the pot? That is the gas escaping into the air. We cannot see gases, but we can smell them. Some examples of gas in our day-to-day -day lives is the gas in gas cookers. That gas is called butane. When you go to the garage with mom or dad to fill petrol, have you smelled the petrol? That is the gas vapor of petrol. In this picture, you can see how air is contained inside a balloon. If we pop the balloon, the air will spread out in all directions. The gas in the balloon is called helium. Solids, liquids and gases are what we call the three phases or states of matter. 